It's this old outboard, baby. Got the sea dart out. Jesus, man. The guy over here with the big Yamaha 1.8 liter engine, four cylinder, pulled this puppy right out. And we broke the rope the first time. I mean, he started hot dogging it, man. And the thing started moving and spap. The rope snapped. Tied her back up. I pushed like hell, man. I think I got triple hernias this past week. And he was come along. We were going to do the come along thing. And then he offered to pull this boat out. He lives right next door to me. And I'm like, hell yeah, man. Let's pull this damn thing. Jacking that damn come along all freaking day. So, worked out good. With spark plugs turned out to be not so much fun. That last set of plugs I swapped out and I knew and I was trying to be gentle. Top plug, putting it in, it got right down to the bottom and tightened and it went to give it that last little half turn and it went whoop and spun out on me. It fits, it's in there, it's not loose. If you know me, normally, first thing I would do, jump on eBay, find another head, and replace this thing. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with the inserts, not using the Healy coil. I'm not gonna use the aluminum insert, I bought the steel inserts. And it should be pretty easy. If I screw it up, then I'll get a head for it. Like this is a real life saga, baby. It's a real life saga. This is the kind of crap that, that'll happen to you. Um, and the funny thing is, I just had someone comment on the last video say, don't do that when it's hot. And I'm like, eh. you know, I did do it when it was hot, but I was trying to be ever so careful. So, and like I said, it's the real life saga, baby. <laughs> All right, let me get some tools, get to work here. So here's the weirdest thing. Now, like I said, I mean, look, it's, it's coming out, but it's, man, it's coming out tight. I'm gonna just try something real quick. Screw it back in. See, it's going in, it feels normal. get right there to the bottom and you go to tighten it up give it that last little turn oh my god holy shit it's t it's tightening up what the heck look at there oh my god I can't believe it what is going on was it because it was just hot and, and it was, I mean, I could still turn it a wee bit. Oh, there it goes. See, that's what happened. It feels like it's going to tighten up and then, but it's, I mean, gee, it's in there. It's not coming out. It's not loose. I, I may be losing a little bit of compression. Strange, man. I'm going to, I guess I need to pull it out. Urgh. Yeah, there's aluminum on there. You can see a little bit there along the edge there. But it shouldn't be bad. And uh, somebody asked me about my piston, what my piston looks like. And it looks kind of black. If anybody wants to know, there's some black on it. I can see black and brownish dark brown wow this seem, almost seems too big it's supposed to be 14 millimeter that ain't going in there jesus christ are you kidding me that's not going in there and I, there's no way i'm putting a goddamn drill in there now i've got another one of these from days gone by 
and it's tapered more than this one. But this this thing ain't even gonna start. Let me get the other one. get it kind of started and then take it out with some grease on it. That's why I say man it's got to be straight. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Like I said, there's no threads oh, on here. I didn't know if you were talking to me for a And uh, it reams it out. Then it starts the threading process. Then you gotta thread one of those other things. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's how you make it. Then. Pain in the ass. But it's like, all right, so slow and steady. Baby. See if I can get you a shot in there. You can see how it's reaming it out. It's not making any threads yet. It's just hollowing it out, making room. Get the threads in there. Urgh, pain in the ass. I think you can see there I'm that deep, almost to the bottom. And then you can see right after I hit that depth, it's gonna start cutting. Looks like I gotta go pretty deep. So I'll probably need to get that damn shot back out a little sooner than I expected. Boy, this ain't easy sitting here like this and you know, try and work on this freaking thing. I'll tell you right now. It's just, uh, freaking shit. Crooked as shit. Come on now, damn it. I'm gonna screw this damn thing up, and I'm gonna really be freaking pissed. I didn't get any deeper. Start going off crooked, it's gonna screw it up. baby starting to see a little bit of marking I think you can see like I said it's just to the bottom it's got to break through that last little bit and uh, you can see some of the starting to make some ridges on there it's not All right. right let me keep kicking away here I guess I better get some grease on this thing now all right, I just broke through the bottom. Started to hit the piston. I mean, yeah, the piston. All right, so it's all cleaned out, sprayed it out. Looks pretty good in there. I gotta put some grease on the plug, like an anti-seize type thing, because I don't want to get any of that red Loctite on there. That stuff takes 500 degrees to remove anything metal to metal. So I'm gonna put this. You know, I was kind of trying to figure out which was the right one to use here and it looks like it's going to be this one it's a little bit longer i thought it was going to be this one but i think this is the right one put on there and like i said i'm going to grease the plug up slip it in and put the loctite on the sleeve and uh tighten her down let her sit 24 hours it said fully cured and uh get my key switch in and come back tomorrow fired up all right so i got this puppy greased up i 
like I said, don't want to get any of that Loctite on there. Slide this baby on. Ooh, it's coming out of there fast. All right, let me screw it in. Fun with spark plugs, baby. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Good thing it ain't like super glue. Or it's going to instantly dry. Okay, my big camera just died while I was screwing this puppy in. And it's in there. And I believe it's straight. If you line up the two plugs, I believe she's straight, but I can't screw it any farther in. You can see it's it's up a little bit higher than this one because there's this lip on top of these things. Now, is that going to screw this thing up? spark wise I guess I don't have a choice at this point in time now I've seen these kits that part of the kit there's a tool in there that cuts this it cuts it out for this ridge but nobody seemed to have that at the parts store I'm just gonna have to run with it the way it is which is you know it's bringing the spark a little farther out that much far oh that much farther out on that ridge up there i'm almost wondering if i could pull this plug out right now for some reason i just would feel better with it out well it did come out that's a good thing oh, wow but yeah like i was saying on the kits i've seen the expensive kits you know which would be worth buying if this was something you did all the time that's it man she's in let it dry up bang bang boom sure beats pulling this head off
Come on now, the wind wants to blow my ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, scared the shit out of me. Oh yeah, baby, you know the channel.